resilience, together. We are proud of who we are and what we do. We are founding member of the Football League. We are 1884. We are positive, inspired and passionate. We are now. We are moving together. We are ambitious and driven. We are progress. We are change. We are prepared, honest and humble. We are the highs. We are the lows. We are the heartbeat of our community. We are the famous black and white. We are the dreams come true. We are the club of opportunity. We are the memories. We are the yet to come. We are done. The bench is significantly stronger than theirs and will make change when we have to. And I can't express it enough to you. You have to gas out, you have to be brave on set pieces, right? And I put all them in the room, so I want you to look at them. Because they're the people that work hour upon hour upon hour trying to help you all the time. And they're the people that will be there at the end of it to congratulate you or to be sorry for you. But they're the people you're playing for. All the people on the fucking wing wall you're playing for. And you could achieve something great. You could. And all I ask is you give it your best. Give it your fucking best. If it ain't your day, fine. Get off. I'll send one of the game changers. It's absolutely fine. But you have to start off with the mentality that you're going out to win the football game. That you're playing fearless. And you have to accept the fact that something is Hello, hello, welcome to the preview show from Rams TV. The end of the league one regular season is getting closer and closer and everything is still up for grabs for Derby County. Today the Rams are facing Leighton Orient at Pride Park Stadium for the very first time. We've got all the build-up to come ahead of this one for you. But we'll start, as always, at this stage of the campaign by taking a look at the top of the table. Derby's draw with Wickham on Wednesday combined with Peterborough's win over Port Vale means it's tighter than ever in the race for automatic promotion. Portsmouth are seven points clear at the top and though Derby lead Bolton by two points and Peterborough by six, they have both played fewer games than the Rams. If Portsmouth win today, they will confirm promotion and clinch the League One title no matter what happens at Pride Park. That would do Derby a favour, of course, as Pompey are at Bolton. Just the three games left for Derby, including today. Uh, Bolton have four to go. Peterborough have five, uh, though Bolton and Posh play each other on the final day of the season. How big could that prove to be? It looks like it'll go down to the wire, folks. Well, Derby put another point on the board on Wednesday with that draw at Wickham. Three would have been better. Uh, of course, we've been talking to Rams midfielder uh, Corey Smith with his thoughts on the night. Listen, obviously, we want to win every game. So for us, uh, a draw kind of can feel like a loss. It's the same with, with, with Portsmouth in a way, obviously. A lot of people were like, it's a positive result, I guess, like against top of the league. But when we was 2-1 up, we wanted to have the three points. But um, at the same time, having been in like these positions before, uh, <laughs> it's only at the end of the season that sometimes you realise how important a point is. Even looking at last season, if we had an extra point last season, we would have been in the playoffs. So, um, yeah, it, it could turn out to be to be very important. and. Uh, and uh, it's, it's looking forward now and uh, on to Saturday. Well, let's talk about being there before because I was looking back at your three previous promotions and looking at the table at the end of the season, they all look pretty comfortable. Mm. But I'm sure in the moment they didn't feel that way. Yeah, yeah, to be fair, yeah, I've probably been lucky in a way. Um, 
uh, to kind of, yeah, when I've wrapped mine up, they've been a little bit a couple of weeks earlier. Um, but uh, you always have these situations, even if it was two weeks before, do you know what I mean? You have these situations where you have opportunities to go and do something. So um, that's the position we're in now. And, you know, uh, we're just so lucky like to, to be in this position. I think you've got to make the most of it and be grateful for, for it. This is what football's all about. If someone said you're going to be second place going into the last three games of the season, that's what you dream of, do you know what I mean? So, uh, well, obviously you want to be first, but <laughs> you know what I mean, fighting for that promotion. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing place to, to be, uh, amazing opportunity for us, uh, players, club, fans, everyone. So uh, it's a massive three games, two of them obviously being at home with our fans, uh, which is something we're really looking forward to. So, yeah, I guess when you look back, we've secured a couple of points on the road and now hopefully we can take it back home and everyone can stick together. We can get those points and push it over the line. The away form has been brilliant. You've equaled the club record for away wins, but very quietly the home form has got better and better. You're one of the best teams at home in the division as well now. You mentioned it, two of your three remaining games are at Pride Park. How important are they going to be? Yeah, massive. Like Honestly, I feel like the fans have been uh, have been amazing. Um, you know, since I've been back from injury as well, like the home games just feel like just they're, they're behind us no matter the result. Winning, drawing, losing, um, uh, and they're just trying to stick with the team. They just want to get promoted just as much as us. And I just feel like you know, in these last few games at home, they're going to be going to be absolutely massive and just give us that extra man, give us that extra boost. Uh, I don't think sometimes fans realise how much it does help when uh, when they're spread, spreading positivity and cheering for us and you know um, getting behind us. And it, it really does give you a. Uh, extra boost of energy, so you know, um, yeah, we're calling on them, on them to to carry on getting behind us, and yeah, hopefully we get the job done. That's Derby midfielder Corey Smith. Now, not everyone has something to play for at this stage of the season, of course. You can probably count Leighton Orient in that number, though they're not officially out of the running for a playoff place. It would take something remarkable for them to make it from this position. Still, it's been a great season back in League One for the O's. Who were promoted from League Two as champions last season and though it hasn't all been smooth sailing this term, they did get themselves in the playoff picture with a great run of 10 wins in 15 games from mid-December to mid-February. They drew with Exeter on Tuesday, Oli O'Neill scoring directly from a corner, but it wasn't enough to close the gap to the top six. Andrew Butler from Orient Live has been talking to us about the moment the O's playoff hopes faded. I'd say it probably died away when we conceded a last minute um, goal to Lincoln on Good Friday. Um, we really uh, only got into that position um, from having a fantastic start to the calendar year. The January form was was incredible. Our 3-0 win away at Portsmouth was one of the best wins truly in about a decade. Um, we had some kind of some some incredible results against teams like Bolton as well. And it just put us in a position where that that nice position, I suppose, of, of being described as dark horses. There was absolutely no anticipation, no expectation that would be close to the playoffs this season. And, you know, you got to a position where people were describing us um, as such. And so it was a tantalizingly close area to uh, to, to get into. But unfortunately, um, you know, we kind of ran out of steam. A couple of injuries didn't didn't help us in that period. Of course, every team gets injuries, um, but um, we, we've done incredibly well regardless this season. Yeah, almost nailed on, almost nailed on for a, for a top ten finish. And I would guess going into the season that would have been dreamland for most Orient fans, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, if you'd asked me genuinely at the start of the season, I would have taken eighteenth, nineteenth, just consolidate our position back in League One. It's been a, a few years since we were playing at this level. We've had a, a couple of um, fantastic years um, and a couple of fantastic promotions in, in previous years. And so it was an element of, of, of trying to consolidate our position. And like I said, that 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 start of this calendar year was um, as, as rocky as us up the table. There was a little bit of nerves um, in the autumn uh, uh, about our form and, and how we were going to adapt to this league. But uh, we managed to keep a, an incredibly strong squad um, that has come up from, from League Two into League One. And it was just a, a, a process of 
adding players in to, to the positions that we needed filling. Um, and a lot of credit has to go to Richie Wellens, um, our manager, in that he's galvanised that squad um, into, into getting us to, to this point. And the club's ambitious. Um, I think we'll try and kick on next season, knowing that we have the capabilities to get into the top 10 in League One. Um, I think we'll be looking up next season and, and trying to push for the playoffs. Let me ask you about Jordan Brown, who's a great kid, came through the academy at Derby. It's been brilliant to see the part he's had to play for Orient. This season in particular, when he's played an awful lot for you. Yeah, he's been brilliant. Um, I remember we we exchanged messages when he when he joined the club and he kind of said, how do you look after him? And uh, I, I'm, I'm delighted to say that, that we have... He joined us at, at an incredibly young age. And you know, when you see a profile of a player like that, they are young. You can see just they're, 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 in the physical sense that they're, they're looking young as well. But this season, he's, he's kind of bolt up a little bit. He's certainly become a man and he's got 45 appearances for us this season, fourth most minutes um, in the league um, for us. And he's added a couple of goals as well, three goals, two assists in, in those appearances. So it's been brilliant to see him develop as a player, um, but also grow into that position. Uh, he, he's still... Uh, you know, a, a little bit, bit of the way off there, um, but you can just see players like him developing into into fantastic players. And um, and yeah, I, I'm reticent to say that Derby lost a good one, but um, but we're very pleased for him. Yeah, I'm delighted to see how well he's done. Uh, we'll be keeping an eye on him on on Saturday. Who else should Derby fans keep an eye on? Who are the stars of this this Orient side? Yeah, well, Ollie O'Neill. We bought him from uh, from Fulham. Um, he didn't play any senior games from Fulham, but we bought him in, uh, from Fulham on in January. And uh, and since coming in, he's been absolutely fantastic. Five goals, three assists in in 15 appearances. Um, scored directly from a corner against um, Exeter on, on Tuesday night. Scored another fantastic goal um, against Cheltenham uh, last Saturday too. He's really lit up. Um, the club since he's joined and and we needed a player like him as well we lost um, Jordan Graham and Theo Archibald um, who are kind of some of our star players uh, to injury throughout the season um, but Ollie O'Neill's come in and and done a fantastic job for us unfortunately Idris El um personally one of my favourite players is also out for the season um, but also look out for, for someone like Ethan Galbraith as well he's played um, 42 times for us this season. He's come through Man United's academy. Um, we got him uh, at the start of at the start of the season. He's been utilised more or less as a right back, despite centre midfield uh, being his his predominant position. Um, and so you'll see him if he does play right back, he'll drift in field. But he's he's also been a player that that has really excelled this season. Uh, a couple of um, incredible goals that he scored of late um, and, and, a, and a player who's got a really bright future ahead of him also. Andrew Butler there with some info on today's opponents for Derby, Leighton Orient. Let's hear from Rams boss Paul Warren now, who has been here before, of course. His side currently sit second in League One with three games to go. Uh, what lessons, if any, did he learn from Wednesday's draw with Wickham? Uh, there, well, there's always lessons, but as as the season gets closer to the end, it, you just have to focus on the next one, really, I think. Like, we uh, we had opportunities to score, we didn't take them, we lost our way second half, and like I've said on numerous uh, occasions in interviews, that, like, it's never smooth, and you just, the, the coolest cucumber wins, really, so you just got to be a little bit cooler. And no one knows how many points we're going to need, so... I know this is a ridiculous statement, but we might not need any more points. You just don't know how the league's going to go. So we might need three wins, we might need two wins, we might need one. Um, however, it's out of our hands, obviously. But we've still got a lot of points in the bag, a lot of things to be pleased about. So, no, we just go on to the next one. You can't live in regret. Like, my goodness me, I won't get out of bed. So, like, you just got to, you know, we, we put it to bed yesterday with the lads. We showed them a few things. Uh, and then we start talking about Leighton Orient straight away, which we have for two days. And... As with every game in this league, if you're not at your best, you won't win it. The potential permutations have changed, but it sounds as though the mindset hasn't really from your point of view. No, not from my point of view. Like, you can only look after your own games. Like, we, we didn't do enough to win a game uh, Wednesday night. Like, boo-hoo. Like, say it all the time. We've got three games to try and beat your best. And uh, if we are our best and we win all three, 
we give ourselves a really good chance. And if we're not, then we go into the playoffs in really good form. So, uh, no, my mindset doesn't change. I don't think, you know, pressure hits people in different ways. I've said loads of times it is a privilege, but it hits people in different ways. And we've probably, every time this season, that's the only disappointment. Every time this season, we've had an opportunity to um, stamp a bit of authority on. We haven't taken it. That's the truth. But generally speaking, we've done well and, yeah, have got three games to look forward to. Have you seen the pressure affecting anyone in particular? Uh, nah, that's, that's, that's a good question, which you know I'm not going to answer. Uh, maybe a couple, maybe. I, I think the other night that, um, um, you know, a couple of my players tried really hard to help and it overspilled. That's the best way to put it. Like, you, it's hard to be critical of someone trying really hard. It's easy to be critical of someone not trying hard enough. But uh, we probably uh, tried too hard and it overspilled and we, we became um, pretty ugly. Leighton Orient, like Wickham, safe, not a lot to play for, but also a side that, that can play at times. How, how do you think yeah. they come into this? Well, I think they, they come into this. Like I know Richie, I played with him. So... I uh, know his teams always want to play. They're a young side. They'll be athletic. They'll want to play at Pride Park. They'll want to win. They haven't, you know, they've got nothing to play for mathematically. I don't think they can go down or can't go up. They're in that sort of... Uh, but they're professional footballers who just want to win football games. So they'll come here without um, without any pressure apart from the pressure they put on themselves. And, and that's a nice way to play. And that's why we try as coaching staff to take the pressure off the players. If we keep, you know, after a, a bad result or a bad performance, we go over the top, uh, make it out to be something even greater. It can affect performances. So you've got to try and take the pressure off. And one of the best ways, uh, I think, to take pressure off is um, to sing to the players and wave flags. That's great. Thank you. If you can do that. Uh, and just be really positive around the group. So I do know that Leighton Orient cause a lot of threats. They do move the ball really well. They do... Um, you know, um, they do rotate a lot in midfield and that, so we'll have to be very good uh, to beat them. They will definitely want to come and play here and um, some of their players, especially a couple of them, have had a really good season. Personnel-wise, as you were for Wednesday? Uh, yep, I don't think I've got any injuries. I've got uh, a couple on the cusp and obviously Sonny's uh, back. Tom Barkhausen's a bit fitter. So, uh, yeah, it should be uh, there or thereabouts, I think. There is Derby boss Paul Warren. Everyone in action in League One today. The key game at the top sees Bolton visit Portsmouth. That The visitors can wrap up promotion and clinch the title with a win there. The potential playoff teams meet at the Kassam Stadium uh, where it's Oxford against Peterborough. The top of the table looks like this. Derby could have a five-point lead over Bolton by the end of the day. They could also be out of the top two. Four teams fighting for one final playoff place. Oxford have it for now. Can Lincoln continue their charge? And Port Vale slipped back into the relegation zone on goal difference on Wednesday. Cheltenham's game in hand could be huge as they try to pull off a great escape. Now, the pressure is on everywhere, including here at Pride Park Stadium, where Derby County hosts Leighton Norrient for the very first time this afternoon. You can watch it on Rams TV. Match Day Live is with you from 2.30 and available to viewers outside the UK. We've got former Derby defender Jake Buxton in the studio, making his Rams TV debut, no less. So get your game pass now at dcfc.co.uk. Goodbye.